Hey folks, here are OS Reviews. Today you're watching our video first look and a quick review of the Ring. This is a smartwatch or a smart jewelry piece that was originally launched through uh, Indiegogo and it's meant as uh, a kind of a fusion between something like the Misfit uh, Flash, which is this attractive fitness activity device, and also a smart security product that you can just tap on to activate SOS mode, and it contacts your friends and family automatically. There's tons of smart features built into this, from using it as also a smart selfie remote to capture images, um, to activating smart emojis or emoticons, answering phone calls, using it to control your music. And so they really went and tried to include the whole kitchen sink and as many software tricks that can be applied onto a Bluetooth device as possible into this one product. Uh, this is a Korean uh, designed uh, watch. And what's also unique is that they give you a number of options that you can purchase, uh, including different links as well as different colored ba back plates. So it really allows you to customize this like a watch or like a traditional jewelry piece. So you can see that some of their options are labeled over here in terms of what makes it different. There's even a mirrored surface that you can use to apply makeup if that's applicable. And then without even using it, you can just push it uh, to a contact SOS. And there's even something interesting called a like there's a games that's programmed for this as well, where you kind of use the motion or gesture of kind of squeezing the watch to activate. Here's the kind of bizarre hand exercise game I was talking about. So you can clench using the the hand to turn it on, activate it. And there's also different games that they made, like popping balloons, such that use the same gesture to activate this particular game. So their brochure is kind of interesting. This is a full manual that uh, documents you know, all the features that it possibly has from locating your phone uh, by ringing an alarm to activating different emoticons like smiley faces, changing the color of the LEDs. You can see all the different faces that it can make uh, into this very visually appealing uh, brochure. And they try to make this so it captures 24 hours so that each page is like a different time uh, that you would use a different feature. It's kind of cute. And it does definitely show off uh, what makes this unique, which is to basically put everything that we like about a fitness tracker and try to squish in as many features as possible. So for review purposes, we have the kind of typical leather strap version of the ring, and it sells on Amazon for about 60 bucks, which is, I think, a decent price for something um, of this caliber and you know, with the capabilities that it tries to promise at least. And in here we have just an instruction manual that tells you how to set it up very quickly and sell the app and then it redirects you to the website again to, to access you know, the full instructions and everything that it can do. So you connect it using Bluetooth with your device and again some basic gestures are documented here from the motion to say you're okay to using voice recording. Now I have to say that most of these features depend on your smartphone to work. Like voice recording, it basically activates the voice recorder on your phone. So your phone's microphone has to be good enough. It doesn't have a built-in mic by itself and it doesn't also have a LED or LCD display. So it just relies on the LED lights on the outside ring, just like the Misfit Flash to give you a sense of what's happening. So it's not the most intuitive thing in the world for everyone. It does use a cell-based battery as well, which is a point of um, critique a lot of people had. It uses a standard CR2032 battery, which we've reviewed a rechargeable version on, the, on our site here a few years ago that we recommend. Uh, it's gonna save you from swapping these out every three months. So the battery life isn't super long. That's why getting a rechargeable one might be beneficial. So the packaging here, very simple. You just have the watch itself, and that's essentially it. A very mirrored surface just tells you quickly the alignment of the LEDs, so 12, 9, 3, and 6. Very typical with a watch, and we can kind of pull off this. It seems like we just have the mirror surface underneath, which, again, is extremely shiny and chrome-edged. It's, it's not actually made out of glass. It feels like some kind of plastic material, so build isn't quite as good as I expected. Um, but you definitely can use it to kind of see yourself maybe as a selfie mirror. And the side is also chrome edged. It's made out of this brass aluminum material that feels pretty good. Straps themselves are made out of a genuine leather material and it's unisex. And of course you can strap this, you can swap this out, which is one of the features of Rang, the customization with the accessories um, that makes the entire package a little bit more compelling as almost a jewelry piece. So you can rotate this out, as you can see, it's not waterproof, so make sure you don't submerge this into water or take it swimming and you should be fine to swap out the battery, which is in here, which is pretty easy to do. But again, um, it does use those re replaceable batteries. 
All right, so here's what Rang looks like when you wear it on your wrist. It's pretty comfortable. It's very lightweight. Uh, it's not super bulky, so it doesn't catch really easily onto you know like your laptop if you're typing. So it makes it a pretty good replacement for a real watch as far as the feel and the ergonomics are concerned. A few things really struck me when I first tried this out. Okay, the first, full disclosure, the battery in here doesn't seem to actually still be alive when I took it out of the box. Not a great sign, but I swapped it out with a spare CR203 battery, that 3.2 uh, battery that I had, and it worked. So um, it doesn't seem like the battery that they that they come with is often still completely working. That's a concern that some folks have already pointed out in some of their early backers that received this, uh, which is why some of the feedback hasn't been super positive uh, if you find it on Amazon. But second thing that I noticed is that it uses a combination with capacitive and mechanical controls. So if you remember the Misfit Flash, uh, it used a mechanical button that can be actually pressed down, but the majority of fitness trackers these days, you use like a, some type of capacitive touch sensor that you kind of tap on to activate the various screens. This is actually using a mechanical design. So it's a little bit bulkier because you can hear a click every time that you press down on it and activate different modes. It presses down kind of like a D-pad, bottom, up, left, and right. And there's a pretty satisfying click each time that you access it, which is interesting, it's new. You can also access the entire thing by tapping it down or by touching the sensor on the top. So an interesting way of controlling everything. Second is, although I like the mirrored surface, it makes it look very attractive. It is extremely glossy and easy to scratch and attracts fingerprints like crazy. So not the best uh, design if you're trying to access information in broad daylight, since the LEDs do tend to get a little bit washed out. So that's basically the fit and ergonomics. Let's take a closer look at the app and performance next. In the App Store, there are currently two versions of the Ring app. There is the older one, and the updated one is called Safe Ring. They basically do the same functions, so I'm not really sure why they couldn't have just pushed an update into the old one. Some minor graphic interface tweaks, but everything else is the same. Let's take a look at the old one first, which still works. When you first turn it on, you can see some inspirational quotes start to appear on the bottom of the screen, and that pops up sporadically each time that you open the app and go through various menus. Things like tomorrow, you know, today will have been just a memory, stuff like that, which is, you know, I guess a nice touch for the type of uh, product that they're going for. And you can see here we have some basic uh, things such as launching the selfie remote function, which opens up the camera, and then you can tap on the ring once to take a quick snapshot as a selfie remote. There's also ones for the gaming, which is kind of the hand pressing game that I talked about briefly, where you use the sensor there to do kind of a hand push up of sorts, and then one for launching the voice memo app through the phone's mic. Finally, there's something called the ring story, which is kind of like a visual diary where you can enter a message for a day, enter emoticons, and then it saves it and uh, you can then sort it through in a calendar-like view, uh, which is kind of a neat twist. Um, it's a diary feature that you don't tend to see integrated into a fitness tracker of sorts. I can swipe onto the edge here to access some other things, such as basically the same apps, but you know they are iterated once more so you can understand a bit more of what's happening. And then through settings, you can change your profile, such as setting up your name, your login information, SOS mode, so your contacts and who to, who to call in the case that you're in an emergency and you press that key. Fireworks receiver, where you can customize the LEDs to display different emojis and light up in different ways, which is pretty cool and fun to play around with. Setting up the watch, so the time for the first time, so that you calibrate that and sync it using Bluetooth, and then Ring Connect. So the app itself is pretty easy to get used to. You do have to turn on both Wi-Fi, uh, well, both Wi-Fi, GPS, and Bluetooth to activate it though, so it does drain battery a little bit fast. Connecting and pairing is simple enough, and we experience no issues when we tried it out using a number of different Android devices. One thing you will notice though is that the Rang actually doesn't have any advanced features um, other than this in the main menu. So you can't actually check things like sleep tracking. So it is not nearly as, you know, it's not really meant as uh, a replacement for an Apple Watch or even a super advanced fitness tracker for that matter, since you are missing a lot of those core uh, notification functions. It's really meant as a smart jewelry piece that replaces a traditional watch and also gives you kind of fun activities like games and ability to use as a selfie remote, SOS mode. So it's really meant as a smart notification tool 
uh, which sets it apart from all the other fitness trackers and watches we've seen. Not sure if that's a good thing or if they're missing some of the functions I expected them to have. The second newer app is called Safe Ring. Again, these are both free. You can see that basically you have the same things displayed once more. This one does tell you the battery status of the watch once you connect it using Bluetooth. So that's a nice software update. And then there's also hand exercises in terms of calories burn, which is a new feature that they've integrated. And then sound recording files can be easily sorted on here. Uh, but, and also notifications, you know, if you have a new uh, call or a new text message, the newer version of the app will give you a kind of a notification LED spiral so that you see it. And then you can turn on your phone to check out, you know, whatever notification you've missed. Since there isn't a physical LCD screen to see more info directly on the watch itself. So that's basically it. You can also tap on it once to answer or reject a phone call. Those basic features can be done using the Rain watch. Um, but, you know, again, as far as fitness is concerned, they're basically missing a lot of the, the features they'll have, such as more advanced uh, calories burned and, you know, heart rate monitoring, sleep tracking. Those things are all not present. So. All right, so that's been our first uh, hands-on review of the Ring. We'll have a more detailed article coming out soon, but essentially it does work as advertised and it's really meant more as a jewelry piece, I think, than a super functional fitness tracker or a real smartwatch replacement. It promises a lot and it does have kind of these niche features that you don't see on other products, but overall I can't really recommend it um, at this point since I think that the features could be more extensive. I was really expecting this could also track my, my maybe my heart heart rate, my steps, calories burned, and sleep tracking, but all those features are gone. And although it looks very attractive, um, I think that, you know, even a fitness, a misfit flash does more as far as giving you more features for a lower price tag, uh, albeit it doesn't look quite as stylish or offer as many accessories as the Ring. Um, you know, Ring really is cute, but at $60, I think it's going to be a bit of a tough sell, to be perfectly honest. It does have quite a few cute features like the ability to customize the LEDs to make emojis and then create your own colors and firework effects. But again, these are mostly novelty features that I don't think most people will find super appealing. Uh, but then again, the ring itself is more meant again as a smart jewelry than I think a super commercial uh, fitness or smart watch that people, everyone will want to use and can pick up and use. So you can check out more details about this again in the coming days as we post more information. But this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. This has been the Rang Smart